Morning YouTube, Chris with Lock and Stock coming at you with an unboxing. Uh, as you can see from the box today, we got a Hamley Tac R1. It's a 22 long rifle and it's in the rifle length uh, 16 inch barrel. It's a bit long, so it's going to be a little bit rough on trying to get to the best view of it as you can. So I, I just got the box sitting over there and uh, just to give you a few things of come in it when you open the box of course you got your lock with the Walther logo Hamerly is one of their I'm guessing smaller companies or brands I uh, had an opportunity to get one of these a while back and I missed it so I had to hop on this one but you'll get like I said it's a 22 long rifle so a little bit smaller, but yeah, it has that assist down the side. 25 round mag. Doesn't say which brand it is. Just comes with the rifle, so I'm guessing with the company. You get your adjustment tools for, because uh, it comes with an Axion red, green, and blue optic red dot. You got some tools for adjustments on the uh the barrel, the muzzle brake as well. So you got that. This is just the cap, the cover, lens cover for the red dot. Already took that off. Nice manual. Didn't get any stickers or anything with it, but you don't see it too often. I'll try to get you the best view of. The Hamley itself, I had to go left to right, so got your muzzle brake there. Beautiful hand guard, M lock, quick detach hold up front. Uh, you see the front sight, it actually flips over the button. You have to press the button in again to get it down. There's your axion sight, it has the uh, elevation up top. Windage on the right side. Uh, the levels that change right here and they color code it. So right now I set up at the blue dot for level three, but I'm going to turn it off just to say that battery did come with the battery. Can't really get you a good view down. Sight. Rear sight flips up as well. And you just push in the button on the side to get it back in. Does have a charging handle. Only thing I saw that this bolt release is not not real, so it will lock back on an empty magazine, but you won't be able to operate that bolt release uh, magazine. Goes right in. Nice grip. Doesn't feel. It's got that plasticky feel, but not as bad as most stuff. The stock. Is adjustable rubber pad on the end also has a quick detach hold on the back end. Let me see if I can get you a better view down it. See the slide is held open. You you won't be able to release that until you actually drop the magazine and then charge it back. It's nice. It's a 22 long rifle, so it's definitely fun for plinking. But it feels really well made to be a 22. And I'm thinking that's with the Walther name back in it. So it's not just like a. Um, I've had the Mossberg Tactical 715. It feels like just two pieces of plastic clamshell together. So this is totally different. I want to see. I don't think. I'll be able to pick it up with the angle I got on it, but uh, you can see a little bit that red, that blue dot now is on its highest illumination for blue to three. I'm just trying to pull that. You can see the red, blue, and I think green on it. Yeah, green right there. But nice optic for the price, you know, it's not nothing super major. But it lines up very well with the front and rear sight. So I'm not sure how much. 
just like that. See, let's turn it. Let's turn it on to green, high illumination. See if we can pick it up in the camera. You can see the dot. I don't have it lined up too well, but yeah. Like I said, I know I still need to get that camera, get some better pics in for you, but this is not not bad at all. I definitely I'll get a chance to actually go fire this. This is it was purchased by a close friend, so we'll get that out. Check it out. Of course he'll get the shoot first, but I'll get soon in there. I appreciate y'all checking the video out. Uh, shoot me some feedback. I like this. Is there other versions? I know it's another color, but just let me know. I appreciate it.